So you guys might have already seen this metaphor before in the three principles. It's one of our favorite metaphors to, to well, to see all of the principles at work, but especially it's a great way to start looking at thought. And Leah's holding the snow globe in a still position. And as you can see, we can see directly through to the essence, right? In her case, it's the, the golden moon in the middle. And we have, we have clarity and we, we see through to the essence. That, that, is, that is mind. When Leah shakes the snow globe, okay. I don't know if you can see it, but mm -hmm. the snow is moving around within the snow globe. Yes. From the bottom of the snow globe, an experience has arised and it's enriched what was already there. And that is the beautiful gift of thought. It's this enriching energy through which we have personal experience. Mm -hmm. Every kid knows a snow globe is great when it's sitting on the shelf, but it's way better when it's shaken sh mm. up just a little bit, yes. right? And we aren't the snow globe. We are, Leah's holding the snow globe. We're looking at the essence and, and the experience all at once. And we are aware of the experience happening and of the essence all at the same time. That's consciousness, right? Now, here's the thing that sometimes happens with thought. Mm. For whatever reason, human beings, we start to think that the snow is the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> right? We just shake it, shake mm -hmm. it, and shake it. Right? <laughs> we think about stuff, and we think about stuff, and suddenly before we know it our snow globe is filled with 10 times the amount of snow a hundred times the amount of snow a thousand times the amount of snow and then we're left standing there thinking i want to see the essence i want to see the, i want to have clarity i can't see it and we shake some more and we shake some more <laughs> and then we're so frustrated because we we think we've lost the essence we've lost the clarity and what the principles points to is the fact that built into the system is our natural ability that the snow just settles on its own. Everybody knows if you want to have a clear snow globe, just put it down. It won't take long before clarity is inside again. And so when we talk about thought, and I'm just going to say how I got a little confused about it, or let's say I got caught up in my, in my rational mind when I was trying to learn about thought and figure out what the heck are they talking about, those three principles people. I was thinking, do they mean individual thoughts? Like when I actually can identify, I'm thinking, oh, I'm two kilo overweight and I'm feeling like I need to lose it. That's a specific thought. Is that what thought is? But then I thought, well, sometimes I have a feeling and I don't know where it's coming from. How can that have to do with thought? And I went round and round. And at some point I realized thought is just an energy arising, just like the snow from the bottom of the snow globe. And it's filling the field of consciousness that we are, just like it fills the inside of the snow globe. And while it's there, we have the experience of that energy. And it might come in the form of a specific thought. I mean, it can, it can come in the form of a feeling or a perception. But in fact, for me, thought should be called experience. Just experience arising and falling. Leo, what do you have to add to that? And then there is a relationship to this experience that we have. How 
we think about it. Good, bad, want that, don't want that. Mm. And I just had a very funny picture that came to mind. Mm. And it was when we start to make up stories about this experience that we have and put in more glitter and snow and shake and shake, what happens is it gets clouded or really foggy or I don't know how to say it. And we kind of have to throw it away, like the, the over glitter in it, because it's too much. When we, we add up all this glitter, all this thinking about thinking and more thinking, and Sid said, you have to pour out the old wine that the new wine can come in. And it's not about not having all this experience. And it's not about not sometimes thinking about it, but to kind of pour out the old belief systems, negative patterns, and with pour out, I mean, just not get involved with them that much anymore. And how I really started to understand when I was there was when I became aware of my feelings again. It was so full in my head, I didn't feel anything at the end anymore. And I did quite bad things to feel stuff again. So when I first started to see something about thought and feelings, about, oh, I feel what's just coming into my consciousness and then it goes again. And if I don't put all this thinking about this experience on top, then it kind of melts quite quick. With this, I started to become more aware when I got insecure or angry or sad and I just could see that these feelings were my friends and at first I, I couldn't feel anything just oh I feel and even that was oh oh I feel a bit much so oh maybe I should just take my hands off my head and that was enough and the more i saw the more i i i had this barometer thermometer yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that just showed me when i wanted to put more <laughs> glitter into the snow globe and i became aware of the habitual patterns that I maybe had from my childhood and school and past experiences and, and this kind of dull, old, not that nice <laughs> um, thinking, storm, feelings, just got quieter somehow. I could react more quickly and not get involved. I was one of those who thought that analyzing till the end, that's the solution. And I started to see that when I, when I go in there, that my, my hands are in the dirt 
and then at the end everything is dirty and I smell and <laughs> it's not fun at all. And somehow it made it easier. I wanted to go there a lot still, but it, it, it was not that appealing anymore as it used to be. What we call educated faith came in. Every time I did not get involved with, with all this, whatever it was habitual thing going on, and I stepped back and I didn't get my hands dirty, they were clean and nice and smelled good, it took not that long and I could somehow feel my way into the next step. I saw the essence again and I knew what to do. No, it, it doesn't mean that we don't have the human experience. The glitter is the beauty, the feelings and the rainy and the cloudy and the sunny days. And yes, we have preferences for the sunny ones, but not to be caught up in glitter so that I can't feel anything at the end. <laughs>